this video, I'm going to show you how to flash your ExpressLRS receiver via rotor flight. First, you'll want to grab ExpressLRS Configurator and install it. Pick the release you want, in my case 3.4.2, and I'll be flashing a RadioMaster RP3-H with diversity, 2.4 gigahertz. And the flashing method I'll choose is beta flight pass-through. I realize that doesn't say rotor flight. It'll work with beta flight, rotor flight, iNav. We're going to show you rotor flight today. And then come down and select the options you need. In my case, I want the ISM domain, my binding phrase is entered along with my home SSID and password and my Wi-Fi on interval. You can set whatever values work for you. Next, we'll take a look at the Nexus. As you can see, I've got my RP3-H already connected to the Nexus CRSF port and I'm using the supplied cable that came with the RP3-H. So there's no special wiring here, simply plug the receiver into the Nexus. After that, take the USB-C cable and connect one end to your computer, the other end to your Nexus, and you don't have to do anything special with the receiver, just let it run. Next, we'll bring in rotor flight, and we have to tell rotor flight where the receiver is physically connected on the board. So hit the connect button, and under configuration, for serial port A, UART4, you'll click on disabled and set that to be serial RX. Then hit save and reboot. And then click on the receiver tab and set the receiver protocol to TBS CRSF. Click save and reboot. And then disconnect rotor flight. Now we can close rotor flight and return to the Express LRS configurator. We'll go down and select the serial device that we're going to use. In my case, it is USB modem rotor flight, and then click flash. You don't have to do anything to the receiver, just plug it in. Rotor flight will take care of the rest. Once you see that writing message start going across the screen, you're gonna be in good shape. Now that the write is complete, I've turned on my radio and you can see I've got a signal right there. And if I click on model and go over to the telemetry section, you can see I've got sensors from the receiver right there on the screen. So that means we've got a successful bind and that's how you flash an Express LRS receiver via rotor flight.